Hey everyone, welcome to So Sweet Sunday. It's Sunday and it is five o'clock. So we're live. Let's see. Share to a group email. Oh, wait, I think I figured something new out. I didn't name it or anything. All right, so I'll wait for a couple of people to come in. I see Jamie is here. You might have to turn it on. It's going to echo. Hey, Jamie. <laughs> I'm just getting together our project for today. If you saw my um, my post, I did a picture of some bibs that was actually done completely in the hoop. And... I will just give you all a demo of how I did that. Right now I'm just kind of pulling a couple of them out for you to see. Superman, okay. So this little Superman bib was done all completely in the hoop. And what in the hoop means, I have a couple here from Christmas because I did some to sell for Christmas. So right behind me. Um, couple boy ones okay anywho so these were all done completely in the hoop and what in the hoop means is your hoop of your machine this in your hoop all done in here all right so I'm gonna move over here to my surface area give me a second Now you gotta look at my ceiling for a moment. Once you all get here, hit share. All right, let's see how we do this. I figured this out earlier. So that you all can see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. How do I turn it? Boom. All right, so this is the fabric I'm gonna use. Any, you can use any fabric you want. Um, usually I use the cute little baby, um, girly or boy fabric, but I kinda, I like this fabric. I went to my mom's house today and um, I kinda took some of her fabric. I call it my fabric store. Don't tell her, she's probably on here. All right, so we start off by putting the minky, you can use this minky bumpy kind, or you can use some terry cloth. You can use anything behind it. I prefer to use that because it just kind of gives it a cute little, little look to it. So the bib is going to be going this way, up and down. What you can do, you just decide which way you want it to go. Don't want it on the vertical or the horizontal. And I use fat quarters. That's about the easiest size. That's the easiest way that I do it. Which way do you think? That way or that way? Straight up and down. So if we go straight up and down, we just got to make sure that the lines look good. All right, those look good. I eyeball a lot of stuff because I don't know. Just do. I don't measure much. Is this red now? All right. And I'll try to make this quick today. I know there's um, I hear there's a little game going on today. Something about a Super Bowl getting in the way of my so sweet Sundays. All right, so. I kind of already had that to where it was loose enough that I could just slide my um, hoop right down on it. So you snap the hoop right on. Usually I would cut right here, but sometimes when I'm wanting to salvage some of my fabric, I don't put it, I don't cut because it'll, it'll stop right here. And I don't want to waste that much material between those two ends. All right, so now we head over to the machine. Hang tight, I'm coming back to get you all. We 
I did that backwards. And let me see, while I'm setting this up, I'm gonna look and see what questions you all have, if any. Uh, not seeing. All right. So we go ahead and just slide it on the machine. I don't put anything behind it. If it were, um, if it were a little more flimsy, I would use a really thin or a wash away stabilizer. But I find that it works well this way. And the way that I'm doing it right now, you will not be able to hide the design. So, for example, this camo one. So, I have this. It's kind of like I have them to where they're prefab. So, if someone wanted one, I just kind of go into my stash, get it. But you will see the stitching on the back of it. If you don't want to see the stitching on the back of it, you would just do... Put this down first with your wash away stabilizer and program it in it has the initials the design whatever you want to put on it and then you come back and you put it on top like an applique i um i won't show you that one this time but i can't come back and do that one it has to be programmed a little more right. so i already have it saved So I have this one. I used to do so many of the bibs at one time. I have it saved. I just go pull it out the little pocket thing. Set. Okay, got that. And all the parameters are there. I mean, I'm telling y'all, this is the this is seriously the easiest thing I do on here. All right. The end edit. I since this is going to be on the inside, it doesn't really matter what thread you use. I'll probably just use a white thread that's already threaded up there. And then we hit sew. And look, it just takes two minutes. I told y'all we won't be here for long. Uh, like it's going so fast, I feel like I'm forgetting material or something. And this bib cannot be done on a five by seven. I have seen some that can. It just takes a little more effort. by 
but that's just for this pattern that I have. I mean, I'm pretty sure there are more. I got this one off of an Etsy shop. I'm just gonna put y'all back. I got this one off of an Etsy shop. And it also comes with a burnt cloth. You can do a burnt cloth in the hoop too. So the next step, I take my pinking shears. There we go. I take my pinking shears and hold on, I'm gonna come back up so you all can see it, but I do a rough cut. So I just go around the whole thing. So it left me this little opening that's very important so that when you flip it. So hang tight, I'm gonna cut. You guys talk amongst yourselves. I'm still here. Um, and what I usually do, since I'm, I have more than one going, not more than one machine, but more than one bib going, so what I would do, I would take this one off, my hoop would be free. I'll go hoop another one and sew it. So while it's sewing, I will be racing that two minute clock. I just kind of make a game out of it. Cause I don't really have nothing else to do while I'm sewing other than talk to myself. So I make a game out of it and see if I can get the whole thing cut in two minutes while that other one is stitching. I don't know. Nobody started timing me, did you? We might make two minutes. But see, I'm just going all the way around it. And I may, I'm glad I did it in white because then I can see it doesn't blend in and I can cut a little faster and I don't have to worry about um, cutting into the bib because I have done that before. Maybe twice. And then I leave this part, you know, I leave like a little notch. I don't know if everyone does that. My mom taught me to do that when I was younger, when I'm flipping stuff, so I just do it. Mm -hmm. Then I take the whole thing and I flip it right side out, inside, right side out. I kind of use my fingers. You know what's good for this? If you all have like a Miyabi or anywhere that has like the plastic chopsticks, I mean, there's an actual tool for this, but if you don't have that tool, you don't want to use something as sharp as a pencil, the chopsticks work perfect. For it. Keep going. And then, so, oh, well, it is all done in the hoop, but then you have to top stitch. So I have my machine set up in my kitchen, and we'll go top stitch it. So that's the bib, that's, it's kind of done. So let's go up front. Let's see what you all are talking about. Glad you Yeah, Teresa, these are really quick and easy to do. I'm still here. I'm going to stop at my ironing board real quick and just press it. Just so to make it easier to top stitch. Like, I literally have these things all over my house. Look. I have another one just randomly in my bedroom. All right, go into my sewing machine. Isn't that cute? Oh, you hit my stand. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we are. At my sewing machine in my kitchen. Good color to top stitch it in. Thank you. It's like, yes, the bottom is minky. 
I just like it because it gives it a little more upscale feel. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Jamonica. How did I do this? I did this before so you could see the machine. <coughs> uh, I don't remember how we could see the thing. Oh, let's go from the back. Let's try that. So then I just go, I top stitch, I usually just start where the opening is. And I decided I'm gonna use black. So that it'll blend a little better. What time is it? What's our time looking like? 5.17? Looking good. See, I told y'all, y'all don't make the Super Bowl parties. everybody going for it? Oh, I don't know if I should ask that. I don't want to start a war in the comments. Okay. And I have gray threaded on the bottom because when I sew, I don't want the, um, I just want it to blend in. I'm, I'm real big on it just looking neat. stitch away I usually use I literally put it right up against I don't know what the measurement is but like right up against that side right there I let it run right up against my presser foot all right stitch away and I have a I have it on the widest or the longest stitch length. There is. I need to test on it. This comes out cute. There's this cute little foot that I saw on Instagram. And I mean, they were able to go about 90 miles a minute. With that foot and it just keeps it from keeps you having a straight line if you know the name of it put it in the comments and I'll probably buy it do y'all start with your mouth open when you're concentrating because I feel like my mouth is open it just doesn't sew right if I close it top part. I know if I wind up going too fast, <laughs> I literally run right off the bed. So, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it has to be pretty. huge scissors sitting here all right so we're not completely done we have to snap it we have to keep it on baby's neck all right so I use cam snaps kind of go through how I have it organized and pick out a color what color let's do gray since we have gray on the back gray yeah huh. 
Jennifer roots for whoever's playing the Patriots. And Miss Margaret, you said with your mouth open too? I mean, it's just, it just doesn't go right unless you, it's kind of like putting on mascara, I guess. Your mouth has to be open. All right, so these little snaps have a front and a back. It is very easy uh, to put two of the same ones on. Don't ask me how I know. Just take my word for it. Okay, so there's a front and a back. I guess, you know, like the one side open, one side or not. I ordered these on Amazon. They're called Cam Snaps. Is the name of them Cam Snaps? And it comes with this little trusty tool. And there's this little ice pick looking thing. All right, so take it. Just kind of find where you want to poke it through. And poke it through and this is gonna so I want this part to show up on top so I'll make sure I put the top of the snap going down through there and the same thing with this end <coughs> excuse me I put that down Put that down on there. Take my trusty little cam snap tool, cam snapper, and squeeze. And it kind of smashes it in place. Smash. All right, do the same thing for the other side. For the bottom, I just kind of match it up and see where I want to put put that. And then I put a hole through it. Stab it. Like so. Sometimes if I get lazy, I just take this and I it's it's sharp enough and push it through. There are off brands. Um I've ordered them before I, I mean I feel like it works just as good. All right, so this is where you want to make sure you pay attention. This needs to go through the back up to the front because you want this part to meet to meet this part, the open. There's probably a name for these. The back snap and the front snap. Okay, so then you test it, make sure it works because trust me, if it doesn't, it doesn't come off. I mean, it will, but you might mess up your project. Ask me again how I know. Bought experience is the best experience. All right, and that gets down in there. And what I usually do, these things are pretty good, pretty snug. I just kind of snap it, open and close it a couple times. And there you have it. A whole bib. <laughs> you have a next to bib. But you have a bib for a baby. Make sure you all share this. Thanks, Tasha. Let's see. And if you have any questions, I'm gonna hang around for a moment. Let's see if I can scroll up and see what everyone's been saying. Hey, Shelly. It's a, oh, you said, was it a walking foot? I, that may have been the name of it. That's it. Oh, where did you? Oh, my can Where did I get my snap machine? I got. It came with the cam snaps. So this came in here. And all of these, I want to say it came with like a starter set. And I got. I just bought this from Joann's. It's a little craft organizing box. The Teresa, the Etsy link for which one? For the bibs or for the, what else did I get on Etsy? I think that was all I got on Etsy, just the bibs. Um, actually, it may not have been. I, I'll look it up and I'll send, I'll send it to you or I'll post it in the notes. Oh, but yeah. And then I just ordered a, um, a multi-pack of the, of the snaps. And 
organized it that way. So that is all. May I have my do myself a bigger machine? You do have to get yourself a bigger machine. And next week, is it next week? I think, I think I'm gonna do a project on the single needle. So everybody that just has a single needle machine, next week I will demo something for you on there. Um, I haven't really decided yet. It'll be something that is beneficial to the smaller machine. I started off on the smaller machine for about six years. I didn't upgrade until last year. So there is a lot that you can do on that small machine. All right, guys, make sure you share the video and I will see you back here next Sunday. Did I, was I saying Saturday? Next Sunday. I'm sorry. Next Sunday for So Sweet Sundays. Bye. Oh, one more question. Joanne, no, this particular bib can't be done on the single needle. There are a couple of designs that can be done on the single needle, but it takes repositioning your hoop. And um, I think I watched a YouTube video on it. If you go to YouTube and just look up in the hoop, you can find tons of in the hoop projects. You can find um, wallets, you can find bibs, you can find different little keychain fobs. So just check it out and I will see you back here next time. Bye.